Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> We're talking about praise today. The importance of having that attitude. Where the book says, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. This people I have found for myself. They shall declare my praise. Isaiah 43 and verse number 21. Good morning, Tracy. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who had called you out from darkness into his marvelous light. Hebrews 13 and 15. Therefore, by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant, and praise is beautiful. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemy. Praise is salvation from your enemies. You got that right, 2 Samuel 22 and 4. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 34 and verse number 1. O oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. Psalm 47, 1, 6, and 7. Great is the Lord, said Scripture, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in his holy mountain, Psalm 48 and 1. Whoso offereth praise glorifies me. Praise glorifies God? Yes. And to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of the Lord, Psalm 50 and 23. Praise and salvation are twins. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. Psalm 63, verses 3 to 5. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all the day, but I will hope continually and I will praise you more and more. Psalm 71, 8 and verse number 14. Then let's look at Psalm 92, verse 1. It is good to give thanks and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. What? It is good to give thanks and to sing praise unto your, your name, O Most High. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Psalm 96, verse 4. Greatly to be praised means your praise should be great. Not, Father, we thank you, Lord, and you fall asleep. No, great praise. Put your all into it. Psalm 107, verses 8. Oh, that man would give thanks to the Lord for, for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the churn of men. Oh, it's a lament almost. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. The Lord has been good, but we have not been grateful. Are you alive? Are you in the land of the living? That's enough reason to give praise to God. Let everything that have breath. But at midnight, Acts 16, 25, Paul and Silas were praying and singing praises unto God, and the prisoners heard and were listening to them. Whoso offered praise glorifieth me. What said the scripture as I close? God inhabits or homesteads or comes to live or comes to abide, reside? Where? In the praises of his people. What does that mean? It means praise equals presence. Wherever there is praise, there is the presence of God revealed among us. Do you want God's presence? Then begin to praise him. Father, we thank you for your word, which is forever settled in heaven. They are yes, and so let it be. May the attitude of praise and worship be released in the lives and from the lips of your people. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. 
Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. For I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Faith over fear. Good morning, everybody. Have a great one. God bless.